You want to hear something funny? This is the second video I make ranking tracks of a new album and in both of my videos I was crying before filming it. It's my concept! Hey there, how are you today? I hope you're good. Ah! Okay. It's just that my self-esteem is kind of low today and I'm not feeling the most energetic, but it's okay. God is good, God is fair. Even though my life is falling apart, Lana Del Rey just dropped a new album. And for today's video, we're gonna rank the tracks from best to worst, or worst to best. Which ones are the best, which ones are not my favorite ones of her new album that is so good. Before we jump into it, I have to change the mood again and be serious again. I have to let you know that your mom called and I did tell her that you're fucking up big time by not getting subscribed. Can you please like the video too? We started the album with the Grants that honestly is not a track that I loved the first time that I listened to it. It was her last single, if I'm not mistaken, but it grew on me so big. It's actually in my head right now and I can't wait to finish this video so I can listen to it. It, it dictates, dictates. I just feel like it's great when the first track dictates the vibe of the whole album. So it's the first track and for now there's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna put it in here. Did you know that there is a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? There actually is a tunnel under Ocean Ocean Boulevard. She didn't lie to you. My only complaint about this album, honestly, is that it's really hard for you to ask Alexa to play. It's really hard. First of all, I have an accent, so it's pretty humiliating for me sometimes. She just doesn't get what I say. It's really long. So when you finally are able to say it and she processes and understands, because it's a whole anxiety, she plays the song instead of the album. I didn't like when it first came out. I don't really love it now. The lyrics really get me. I was reading an interview with Lana Del Rey yesterday, and she was kind of saying like oh you have to have a career but you have to have kids and then there's the age and there's this and there's that you have so many options going on so many things in your life that you don't know what to pick and then at some point everything is gonna be gone because when you had the chance to pick something you did it I still am gonna let this track behind the grants because I do like the grants a little bit more she is probably my least favorite of the album for sure. You follow me on Instagram or TikTok or no mean person. If you go to school with me, I don't know. You know that I am obsessed with this song. I post this song on my stories every single day. I have never done this for any song before. My friend actually texted me the other day saying that he hopes to someday find someone that is gonna love him as much as I love this song. This song is history, it's culture, it's philosophy. When he gets to the end of the song, when the vibe changes, when the beat drops, American Horror is not only my favorite track of the album, but probably of the year and of life as well. Perfect. It's an interlude. I love albums with interlude. I just think it's peak creativity. I love it. That's the thing about this album. There's a lot of times that Lana or someone else is saying something and I love when song has those little details. I'm gonna put it before Sweet. Then right after we have Candy Necklace, one of the fan favorites. Every Lana girly I know that I talked to about the album comment on the song and they liked it and everything, but I didn't love it. Maybe it's gonna grow on me. Maybe it's not my vibe right now. In case you haven't listened to the album yet, it's a fun favorite so it is a good button I'm gonna put it before it intruded of course Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to serve pronunciation today. I don't know how I feel about the song yet. Again, it's one of those songs that I feel like they still need to grow on me a little bit, but I was just watching the story of this song yesterday. There's a Rolling Stone video that they made with Lana to explain the meaning behind this song. It's really cute and sweet, and after I found out the meaning behind it, I kinda liked it better, but it's still not enough for me to like be in love with it or remember exactly how it goes yet, cause the album came out like two days ago so before do it yeah I'm gonna put before no I'm gonna put it after the interlude fingertips I don't remember very well which I consider a red flag in this case to me it's a skipper it's not a song that I really clicked with I probably am gonna like it later in life but for now I don't I love this song it's giving horror battle ballerinas dancing in a mansion and why you in a horror movie now we're gonna have a ranking grandfather please stand on the shoulders of my father while he's deep fish oh the name is gonna be here it is actually a very nice song
Let it lighten was so fun. I love this one. And yeah, it has been on my ad for a while, so I think I liked it more than Paris, Texas, to be honest. Margaret, I don't remember this one, and I'm not gonna try to remember it now. If I don't remember it, it's because I skipped it many times. Fish tail is growing on me, and that definitely sounded wrong right now, but it's growing on me, so I'm confused. Do I like it more than I like candy necklace? Or because I do like both good point i do like both in the same level of likeness but if candy necklace is a fan favorite and fishtail is not really getting the hype i am assuming that maybe fishtail is not i mean this is never a thermometer for anything but i feel like a candy necklace would be a bit better and more Shh, now is not the moment to talk now is the moment to listen peppers <laughs> So it's so perfect. That is my song. I seriously consider putting it in first. When I thought about making this video and I was listening to the album the first time, I, it was love at first listen. I love this song so much. I feel hot when I listen to it. Perfect. It is a mix of like pop with not exactly EDM, rock. There is definitely rock. I could feel some chili peppers influence. Maybe I'm tripping, but I'm a red hot chili peppers girly. I think we're all clear about that on this channel that I love red hot chili peppers and Lana Del Rey because this is all I know how to talk about. But, but I do feel some influence in there and some hip hop as well. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think Lana Del Rey is like, oh, a pop artist or this artist. I think Lana Del Rey is Lana Del Rey. She is her music style. She is her own thing. And this song is the proof of that. Peppers, peppers. First or second? I have Miracle Heart so good, right? No, that, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but peppers and it, oh, fun service. Fun service. Thank you. I feel served. I am very satisfied with what I got in the last track. Taco Truck and v VB. I was talking to my friend about this. We love the song because of the title, right? Like Taco Truck. It already feels like something is gonna be nice. But then you see the VB and you're like, yeah, fuck it, you don't care. Until you're there minding your business, finishing the album in Venice Beach that is from her best album, Norma F Rockwell. Yeah, it is. It's one of her best songs ever. Ever. Are you listening to me? I used one of her best songs ever and she put in a mashup. The best part of it, not a mashup. And all you can think of is that emoji with the head exploding because Venice Beach was in the title the whole time. I love you, Lana Del Rey. If I am who I am today, it's because of you. Being a woman in this industry is already a lot and being a woman like her that was totally honest to her feelings and herself, that's insane. Like she deserves everything she has and I love that the older she gets, the better she gets and this is so inspirational for me. I'm always so anxious and I always feel like, you know, I need to do things certain way and then you see someone like Lana Del Rey doing her own shit, you know, being her true self. I am so happy with this album. Even though there are some skippers, some tracks that I didn't like, it doesn't change the fact that it became one of my favorite albums. I've been listening to it nonstop. I loved it and that's it. I hope you liked the video too. Bye.